Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are not going to learn about mappings in this section. So what are mappings? Mappings are nothing but fixed variables that are used in our te cloud formation template to specify or to differentiate between different environments. So these are all values that are hard coded within the template. And also I would like to mention that mappings are different from parameters and you also can't include map parameters, pseudo parameters or intrinsic functions in the mappings section. Okay, so mappings are different from parameters in one way that is mappings are predefined we already know the values of uh, resources or um, different parameters then we make use of mappings whereas in case of parameters we ask the user to specify the values so the, this these are the two the, these are the differences among them now let's get start let's start understand what is syntax so mapping section consists the key name mappings the keys in mappings must be literal string so you can understand this that keys must be literal strings whereas the values can be string or list types okay so these are the constraints for the values of keys as well as values next the mapping 01 over here is the name of that particular mapping, which is the logical name given to it for identification purpose. Okay. Similarly, map within mappings, we have got mappings.01, which is the name of the mapping. Key 01 is the key and value 01 is the value in this case key 0 to being another key within the same mapping and value 0 to being mapped to key 0 to similarly with key 0 3 as well okay now the next thing is the example the following example shows a mapping section with a map region map which gives which contains five keys that map to name value pairs containing single string values. The keys are region names. You can see over here. The keys are the region names. And you can see, you must have noticed that in case of JSON format, we write everything in double inverted commas. Whereas in case of YAML, we are not writing everything in double inverted so that's why it is more easy to understand and more simplified way to uh, learn about cloud formation templates so that's why we'll prefer mostly yaml so each name value pair is the ami id for the hbm64 ami in the region represented by the key okay so what has happened over here is this that within the mappings the name of our mapping is region map within this we have a key us east one with a value of ami of whatever this text is the uh, image id basically for this particular architecture so in this way we can mention the requirements for different uh, regions out here okay then the next thing is mapping with multiple values now what we are doing over here is that you can see we have got two values for the same region for the same key so why is this because we have differentiated them using these architectures okay hbm64 and the other hbm g2 right so in this way also we can manage our mappings now the most important thing over here is find in find in map now 
this find and map will help us retrieve the values of those keys from mappings how it will first now you can see the resource with within the resources we have got my ec2 instance which is the logical id then we have mentioned the type of course the ec2 instance and then we have properties and within properties when we met when we are asked to enter the image id we have used to find and map to retrieve the values within the mappings now within the region map so this is the name of our mappings that is mapping name and then we have got the reference aws region like this aws region must have been already uh, defined somewhere within the template and we will be referencing it so it may retrieve suppose us west one so what find and map will do is it will search for this particular key which is a top level key now this is our top level key suppose eu west one and hvm64 is the is the identifier for that particular um, region so it will add this particular value for image id so in this way find and map works and then we have got instance type as m1.small so in this way we can make use of mappings to retrieve uh, so to assign different values to variables and then retrieve them wherever it is required in our template so that's it for this lecture hope you like the video and found it useful please like share and subscribe the channel if you really found it useful and also don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates thank you so much have a nice day